a core pool of public defence lawyers plus the option of roping in those in the private sectors when needed. An expert says that's one possible model for, for what could make a public defender's office. Now, such an agency is meant to help needy accused persons in criminal cases. The Law and Home Affairs Minister announced yesterday in Parliament that the government is studying the details and feasibility of this. Our lawyer CNA spoke with welcomed the idea but stressed the importance of safeguards such as strict means testing. This will prevent such support from being exploited and protect small law firms that are at risk of losing clients if more turn to the scheme. Enlisting lawyers from such firms will also help to solve a manpower crunch. You need hundreds uh, given the number of cases that we have. So I think the more cost-effective way uh, would be to tap into uh, criminal lawyers who already practice. This could be done through by way of uh, payment through an honorarium of sorts. You could distinguish by the type of work, the amount of time needed, the amount of expertise required. Then I think you would have a more uh, equitable sort of um, uh, payment scheme. For another lawyer, there's also the issue of whether taxpayers will accept such a, a fully government-funded agency to defend potential criminals. Currently, legal aid for these cases come under a scheme which is partially funded by the government. Is the Singapore society at large ready uh, with this concept? That means a fully funded, government-funded uh, defence agency or the Public Defender's Office. That means on one hand, we are prosecuting them. But on the other hand, we also believe in the rights of the individual and that they should be fully funded for their defence. So I, I think this is really a societal question. This is something which the public must be ready to embrace.